What is poppin' people? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. We finally have the Glasgow Regional. The reason that the channel's been best of one for a little bit is it was eight rounds of best of one here in Glasgow, and then it was uh, top 16 best of three. This was an offline regional, and uh, yeah, it was a whole lot of fun. So big thank you to OPE for not only hosting, but also giving me the ability to uh, broadcast the games on the channel. And a big thank you to our most recent members, Octavian at the Champion tier, Gimme That Gaming at the Digi Egg tier, Ale as a Rookie, feeling hollow as a digi egg and chava for joining at the champion tier big thank you to everyone that has been supporting the channel people like the mega just justice josh and uh, everyone that said that it was cool for me to record this so i'm going to be opening up with what looks like mother shoto because we're going to see the dummy mod slam down for six and if you come into the region or like if you're round one to be mother shoto that has got to be scary we're going to put the ukamon down and I feel like going second, like putting the Ukomon feels really bad here because you don't, like you've got so much memory to work with, but you're also just completely cutting yourself out of a lot of lines. Like you turn off the ability to use purple cards. Unfortunately, there is a little bit of glare. We did have the CPL filtered down, but the lighting uh, just wasn't ideal. Uh, I'm going to try and see how much color correction I can do, but yeah, bear with me. Some of these cards on the left, I did what I could with what I had. I'm going to see the Gigimon come down. The Gigimon is going to check top three. We're going to get to play the Tamer and then can rig the top of the deck. So we're going to rig to the top another Marmimon. Swing when attacking. Wow, look at that. That's a Marmimon. That's crazy. Marmimon then going to come down and then down comes the Shoto. You can see, yeah, picking up the Gigimon because the fact that we got to free play a Tamer and then free play a Mame, which is then going to free play a Tamer. That's some crazy high roll, like cray cray high roll. And then put into the top of the deck to put the Ukamon there as well. That's so filthy. We're also going to put a blocker down on top of the, uh, on the 3D played Mamimon because we're going to be using Mother Shoto. Most likely going to tap it once again, gives over the blocker. So that's just what, uh, confirming what the blocker is there. Looks like we're going to push out. And we are at three, of course, going to pick the Goro, which means down goes the, uh, yeah, down goes the um, AG. And again, this feels kind of awkward. You know Digimon Emperor is in the back because he revealed and he put them to the top, but have you already forgotten? This does look like standard Fenry. Um, I don't even think there was any point in it. Gives him two free draws there. So maybe definitely match up in experience versus Mother Shoto because like, yeah, I I hate this as a pick. This was, I think this was a really, really unfortunate, like obviously, yes, you're getting giga high rolled, but like, okay, we're going to evolve, draw, that should be the Digimon Emperor, the swing, check top, uh, top three, yeah, okay, so. I'm pretty sure they went to the top. We're going to get the Kokuamon out, which is going to be a blocker. Hits an Ukamon in here. And we're not threatening lethal just yet, but we're close. Yeah, there comes a Digimon Emperor. There's no reason to overextend here. And that's what I'm saying. Like, this is why I really dislike the uh, leaving a Nugamon in the back, because all you've done is scam yourself out of a turn there. At the very least, the Kokuamon, like, you don't really get to ignore Digivolution requirements in Fenry. And if you're making Takemi Kazuchi, like, you're still playing by the game's rules in terms of doing uh, the trash DNA. It's not like ignoring game things, but you're going to lose two memory there and just completely scam yourself out. And it was so avoidable as well, because they could have just, uh, they could have actually just done what they were supposed to. We're going to go for the taunt to uh, presumably have, like, the Mamemon. I think we're just confirming what it is that the lineup has. I'm kind of surprised that the Mercury Mon didn't immediately turn back into a Sasuke. I wonder if it's maybe to play around Death X by just taking the, keeping the number in. Because if a Death X comes down, it's just going to de digivolve the Mercury Mon, which uh, will immediately turn it back into a Tamer. Whereas you make it cheaper by bringing it out and you can just bring it out at the end of the opponent's turn. And again, because they've had to use so many of their resources, it's just not great. We're going to go into the non-SOC deck story to try and steal back some memory, which I do like. And we're going to go train and go into the Dora Gray. Wait, maybe this... Oh, this isn't actually Fenry, it's Gora. Yeah, then I guess that's why you're on the... You stay on the three, because if you stay on the three, then you get to... Um, 
actually go for the taunt, but this... Yeah. Yeah, it's still kind of yucky. The cool boys are interesting. I feel like people started to trend away from cool boy a little bit. Yep, and there comes the memory off the Satsuki. We're going to swing in the dummy mom. We're going to swing. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter really how you did this because you're going to go into the Gora and you can pop the Shoto or you can try and pop the... I think actually popping the Gigimon might have, uh, Gigimon might have been the play here. Because obviously, yes, you're going to give the mother Shoto blocker, but like if you're... Like you have collision anyway. Um, the thing I don't like about popping the Shoto is like if you, if the Gigimon swings here, like the Gigimon could just potentially rip off the top and free play a uh, Gigimon. I think we're considering just dropping the Cherubi. Okay, I'm gonna just go for the Need Digivolve. Ooh, but because it's unsuspended, if he has another one, he can just go straight in. Down comes the GG. Doesn't hit into... Free plays the Vikemon Ace. Vikemon Ace then gets to D-Digivolve 2 and then Source Strip. Uh, yo, that's... Yeah, this is what I'm saying, man. Like, GGmon, I think, was the hit. I think got too focused on the Mother Shoto, but like the GGmon has gone crazy here. Now we're going to get the Suspend and going to stop them from being able to uh, Digivolve until the end of his next turn, which does mean that... Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to pull them out at end of turn. That's uh, very nice of his opponent. But, um, I mean, to be fair, you're in a pretty good position. <laughs> Not being able to evolve either of the fours is pretty rough because you can't, ex you can't do anything here. Uh, evolving the Rookie in the back maybe for cycle but I think maybe it might have been better to play the rookie to board and then load the cracker fang to then be able to taunt just to try and slow it down but we're just gonna see an evo in the back so yeah we're fully abandoning that line and maybe you just have to make okay just gonna put the ag down try and set up and hope that he makes it to the next turn uh start of main we are gonna get it I'm gonna swing in and we're gonna burn top card of security is gonna unsuspend which means we do have a pretty close to lethal and woof, and the taunt on the tyranno brings it down to one uh gonna get the luga off that and then we're gonna pitch off the other two i'm gonna swing in the kokua kokua is gonna die we're gonna swing in the vike vike is gonna pop something with one source and then we're gonna swing and clear it up so i mean kind of a filthy high roll i cannot lie uh from the mother shoto player really good stuff from them the reviewer of the channel so uh yeah big congrats to you and uh, yeah, big thank you to everyone that's been supporting the channel so far. If you aren't already subscribed and you're new here to the channel, please hit subscribe. We're trying to hit 3k so that way we can bring out the Discord to the public. And I'm going to keep on trying to work on the projects that we have been working on. Uh, big thank you once again to all of the members, the growing family of people that have been supporting the channel monthly for as low as a pound a month. And, you know, if today is your birthday, then happy birthday. And as always, have yourselves a damn good one.